identified their characteristics, uh, which were similar to the characteristics of our exponential functions, just some of the ideas we kind of flip-flopped. Um, so we're going to delve a little bit deeper into our logarithmic functions, because what we're going to look at today, um, and y'all did really well to figure out the door, but we're going to look at some equations today where we can't write both sides so that they have the same base. So we're going to figure out what can we do when we can't write them so that they have the same base, and logarithms are what are going to allow us to do that. So before we get to that point, though, we need to establish what the logarithm truly is. Um, so we haven't talked about what inverses are yet, but it, uh, the inverse of the exponential function is the logarithmic function. So here's the technical mathematical definition. Um, when x is greater than 0, that's p, x has to be greater than 0, so x is the number inside the logarithm. That has to be positive, okay? Um, a, the base, also has to be positive, and it can't equal 1. Um, we've got this definition. y equals log base a of x, that's how we read that, if and only if this relation should exist. x equals a to the y. Okay? So, um, and then we have the same thing for the natural log. Natural log doesn't have a base right here, okay, because it's always understood to be e. So the relationship with this one is e to the y equals x. And this is the natural log of x. So we have this relationship. I call it the, it's kind of like a swoop. Um, you start with the base and you go around your equal sign and you go back to the logarithm. So a to the y is equal to x. Right? So if we have, I'm going to make sure I'm not getting ahead of myself here. So what this means, okay, for example, this relationship is true. Can I have your attention? Okay, so here, here's what we're looking at. This is a true relationship. Log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. And here's the reason why. Because 2 cubed is equal to x. Alright, so if, if I didn't give you this part, if I didn't give you the equal to 3, and I asked you what is log base 2 of 8, the question you should be asking yourself is 2 to what power is 8? Well, 2 to the third power is 8, so the answer to that logarithm is 3. Okay, so that's what a logarithm means. Okay, so let's evaluate some logarithms. If I ask you log base 2 of 32, what is the answer to that? Well, I'm thinking 2 to what power is 32? You might know. The fifth power, okay? The fifth power, 2 to the fifth is 32. Some of these you'll have to kind of play around with a little bit um, to figure out exactly what they are, okay? Um, let's turn this around. Let's look at this if it were in function form. Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, but I'm just looking for what's the answer to this log expression. Now we could write this, that is equivalent to an exponential form, that would be 2 to the 5th is 32. But in logarithmic form, this is how it is, log is 2 of 32. Is right here? So log base 2 of 8 is 3 because 2 cubed is 8. Okay, let's look at it in function form. f of x is equal to log base 3 of x. What if x is 1? So that's saying log base 3 of 1 is, so 3 to what power is 1? Is zero power. Okay? Three to the zero power is one. So in this case, if we wanted to write it in function form, f of one is zero. Okay? Alright. Uh, let's look at this next one. F of x is equal to log base four of x when x is two. So log base four of two. Okay, 
<clears throat> so this is kind of interesting. 4 to some power is equal to 2. <clears throat> um, okay, so let's think about it. Well, we'll think of the best way to describe this. What's the relationship between 2 and 4 exponentially? Just the relationship between 2 and 4 using an exponent. 2 squared is 4. Okay, 2 squared is 4. So if we reverse that, then the square root of 4 is 2. It turns out that we can express the square root as the 1 half power. Okay, the square root can be expressed as the 1 half power. So that's a little nugget to tuck back in there. <clears throat> um, now, there is an understood property when there is no base on the common log, L-O-G, it's understood to be 10. If there is no base written, it's understood to be 10. So that is 10 to some power is equal to 1 over 100. Well, okay, what's the relationship between 10 and 100? 10 to what power is 100? The second power, but it's in the denominator, so it got in the denominator using a negative exponent. 10 to the negative 2 is 1 over 100. Okay, uh, example E, f of x is equal to the natural log of x. Okay, natural log has a base of e, the natural log of 1, that's e to what power is 1? Well, that is 0. Okay. So there's a property that we need to know. Log base a of 1, it doesn't matter what the base is, that answer is going to be 0. The natural log of 1 is 0. Anytime you have a 1, inside of your logarithm, the answer is automatically zero because any base to the power of zero is the only thing that's going to give you one, okay? Um, now, we also need to talk about something called change of base because on your calculator, most of your calculators, thank you, Dan, most of your calculators um, only have the natural log and the common law, all right? They don't give you a way to change the base. Now, some of you that may have one of the newer calculators of your own, um, it does let you change the base, but on this calculator, you can only do log base 10. Um, so, if I wanted to check myself on, say, example C, log base 4 of 2, what we've got to do is we've got to use something called change of base. And what you do is you take the log of the, I call it the big number, Okay, the one that's not the subscript, it's not necessarily the bigger of the two numbers, but it's the one that's not the subscript. So the log of 2, close your parentheses, divided by the log of the base, and it'll give you the answer. Okay, and we can check any of these that way. Log base 3 of 1, log of 1 divided by the log of 3, it's going to give me 0. Um, now obviously we could check the log of 1 over 100 because it's base 10, okay? Um, but that's what we call change of base. So, for example, log base 5 of 3, you would type in log of 3 divided by the log of 5. Um, your calculator opens a set of parentheses, so you got to make sure that you close the parentheses before the division symbol, okay? Make sure you close the parentheses before you divide those two logarithms, or it won't give you the right answer. Okay? All right. So, i got a couple of practice problems there that I want you to do. Um, I want you to try and do them by hand. You can use your calculator to check, but I want you to use your...